Hello yogis, hello Journey Junkie tribe, and welcome to our new Zen Den. So for those of you who've been here alongside me for the many weeks that we do yoga together, we are transitioning into this new space for the time being. So welcome and thanks so much as always for having me in your home. Um, today's class is a gentle bedtime yoga flow. It's all about reducing stress, tension, anxiety that we build up throughout the day so that we can nurture ourselves into a really deep, uh, restorative-like sleep. So before we unroll that mat, if you're not part of our online tribe, make sure you click that link in the description below and come join us. Other than that, I have two blocks here that are optional for your practice and a bolster if you wanna end in Shavasana. Again, just optional. So with that said, now unroll your yoga mat and uh, let's get to sleep. For today's flow, we're gonna start in a seated position. So find something comfortable. If you need to prop yourself up, please do. But let's get started. So sitting bones rooting down into the earth, comfortable Sukhasana, easy seat position. Relax your hands atop your thighs. Close your eyes for just a moment. Start to invite that yogic breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the nose. Allowing yourself to drop into this moment here, bringing your mind into your body, allowing yourself to relax, release, and restore. Take five breaths here. Take one more inhale here and exhale gratitude out of your mouth. Let's do that one more time, big inhale. Let gratitude go. As you open your eyes, inhale your hands up towards the sky, reach your fingertips, palms to come together. Exhale, twist over to the right, left hand comes across, right hand goes back and use this back right hand to act as a kickstand. Push the earth away as you lengthen through the spine. This is a really gentle twist, so don't twerk or force it. Just relax into it. Two more breaths. Inhale, come back through center, fingertips go high. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. So the right hand comes down to the earth. The left hand reaches over the head and over to the right. And here you use your right hand as a kickstand to push your left hip down as you reach your left fingertips to the opposite side, making a lot of length on the left side body. Two breaths here. Inhale, come back up through center, hands reach towards the sky. Exhale to bring the right hand directly behind the back, push into the earth, the fingertips are facing back too, and then reach your left hand back so you're finding a gentle back bend here. Two breaths. Inhale to come up, hands reach towards the sky. Other side, exhale, twist to the left. 
And you guys are in for a special treat right now. We have a well-timed, quintessential Florida thunderstorm happening. One more breath. Inhale, back through center, fingertips reach. Find a lot of length here. Exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Use that left hand to push the right hip down further as you reach through the right fingertips. Two breaths. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, the left hand behind you and reach the right hand back. Oh, that should feel so good, opening your chest. Two breaths. Inhale, back through center. And then pause right here, hands at heart. We're gonna move through that sequence, but one breath, one movement. And we'll go from right to left, right to left. So follow my cues and then allow it to become a moving meditation. So here we go, inhale the fingertips high. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side body stretch. Inhale to reach. Come back up through center. Exhale, right hand behind you. Open through the heart, reach back. And come back up through center, inhale. Exhale to twist. Back through center. Side body stretch, back up through center. Reach the left hand back and open through the chest and back through center. We'll go again. Let's do the exhale through hands up. I think it'll be a better breath movement. So inhale to prepare, exhale up, inhale twist, exhale back through center. Inhale, right hand down, side body stretch. Exhale back. Inhale, right hand back, open. Exhale back. Twist to the left. Exhale back. Side body stretch to the left. Exhale back. Left hand back, open heart. Come back through center one more time. Exhale, take it up. Inhale, stretch the twist to the right. Exhale back. Inhale, side body stretch to the right. Exhale back. Reach the right hand back, open through the heart. Exhale back. Twist to the left. Exhale back, open to the left, exhale back, left hand goes back, last time open through the heart, and exhale to come back, Whew. we're feeling warm, we're feeling wrung out, moving into a forward bend, so stay in your seated position and actually switch up the position of your feet, so Quickly reset yourself, making sure we show love to all sides. And if you want to block here, this is a really great time to rest your forehead on it. Otherwise, fingertips into the earth, lift through the crown of the head, big inhale. Exhale to hinge forward, round the back, really make it soft and gentle. You can bring the palms to face up towards the sky and then completely let the head and neck go. Surrender here, relax, release, restore. Five breaths. breath. 
flip the palms back over if you have them facing up. Inhale to gently lift the gaze. And exhale to take your hands over to the left. Side body stretch here, another inhale. Exhale, fold. Three breaths. Inhale to lift the gaze. Walk it over to the right. Take a big inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift on up. Walk it back through center and come into tabletop, bringing yourself into a few cat cows. For these cat cows, really make them at 50%. So nothing too intense. Inhaling to open, exhaling to round. Really gentle. One more time. Come into neutral tabletop. We're gonna work our way down to the bellies for, for Sphinx pose and then crocodile. And recently I learned about a really great way to incorporate blocks into crocodile pose. So I want you to have them ready at the back of your mat in case you wanna use them. It really helps further release the low back. So make your way onto your belly for Sphinx Pose. If you're on the forearms here and if you have those blocks, just make your legs a little bit wider to accommodate. Elbows underneath shoulders, fingertips spread nice and wide and push the earth away. Again, this is about 50, 60%. Hug the heart through the arms. Three breaths. Last inhale. Exhale to lower all the way down. And this is where if you have the blocks, you just bring your ankles right atop the block and let your toes hang over. So accommodate, move around, adjust, and then right hand on top of left hand and bring the forehead to gently rest atop. We'll be here for five breaths, so really settle in. Let's stay for five more breaths. I have a feeling we're all really surrendering here in this moment, so continue to breathe. From here, lift the gaze, bring that left hand out to a goalpost arm so the elbow is in line with the shoulder, the wrist is in line with the elbow. We're gonna move into a shoulder stretch, and if this is too intense, you can straighten your arm out all the way, okay? But play around with it. You're going to roll onto your left hip and bring the right leg back. You can bend the knee or straighten it. And yeah, the goalpost way is definitely more intense. So you might want to straighten out the arm. Slowly lower your head to the ground as you continue to open through the hips here. And you're really breathing into the shoulder. If you want an added stretch here, 
you can reach your right hand back for the top of your right foot and find a quad stretch at the same time, bringing the heel to the glue. We're here for five. We're not forcing anything. We're doing everything to help us relax. Last breath. Slowly, if you have the foot, let it go. Bring the right hand back down to the earth and we're gonna move straight to the other side. So take your time. Decide if you want the goal post or the hand going straight out to the side. Use your left hand to help you maneuver and roll over. As the head rests down, you can start to open the hips more. And then deciding, do I want the quad stretch or is this where I wanna be right now? And also a tip here is if you flex the uh, right foot, it'll help you better balance to reach back for the top of the other foot. One more breath. Slowly roll back onto your belly. Take your time and we're coming back into crocodile pose. So if you have the blocks there, drape your ankles over the block again. This time left hand on top of right hand and slowly bring the forehead to rest atop. For those of you who suffer from lower back pain or discomfort, this is a beautiful, effective, restorative pose to help counter that, that pain or discomfort. Last breath here. <sighs> All right, slowly make your way onto your back. And you are going to want a block for this. However, you don't, I'll give you an option if you don't have a block, but it's way more effective with a block. So coming onto your back, we're coming into a restorative bridge pose. So the block's gonna come directly under your sacrum. Feet, feet are planted into the earth, knees are bent, lift the bum up. The sacrum is that flat part after your low back end, so before your butt and after your lower back, okay? Feel free to adjust around here and find that flat space for you. And once you get there, all you need to do is relax your palms down by your side and drop into the moment.
three more breaths. Moving into a really incredible psoas stretch. And I apologize, I said a block was optional, but it's really more favorable. If you didn't have a block, you can do wind relieving pose, which is also known as Ardha Apanasana, lying on your back. Let's all extend the right leg forward and flex through the toes, push down through the heel, and then bring the left knee into the chest here. So if you don't have a block, you can do this on your back. Interlace the hands right around the top of the shin, and then bring the leg closer to the chest here. And just breathe. The goal is to really release the low back here. Allowing your psoas muscle on the right to release. Five breaths. slowly set the left foot down on the ground bend the right knee extend the left leg straight out flex through the foot send that heel down bring the right knee into the chest interlace the hands and then hug that knee into the chest and again can you completely let the lower back go it helps if you release the jaw. You'll notice it is connected to your glutes in your lower back area. Last breath. And let that right leg go. Bend the left knee. Pick up the hips. Move the block out from underneath your sacrum. Take the feet as wide as your yoga mat and allow your knees to knock in towards one another, palms down by your sides. Don't force the knees in towards one another, just let them fall towards one another. Breathe here. Last inhale and exhale let both knees fall over to the left moving into a supine twist the right arm can come out to the side <sighs> breathing into the side body Inhale the legs back through center. Take it over to the right. And extend the left arm out to the side. back through center and now you have a few options if you are near your bed you can get right into bed if you like to take a shavasana and you have a bolster you can bring it to rest underneath the knees 
or use your props, your blocks to come into Supta Baddha Konasana, supported. Take any variation that you're needing to help you seal this practice. So come into the space you need, last posture, and I will leave all of us here to wrap up our practice and get into bed. Ah. <sighs>